Right, Ege, in the kitchen. Chew your food. Otherwise your head explodes. See, it's true. Try to tell him. Try to tell him. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. We are now on the 41st episode of our holiday series, so episode 41, guys. Now, in this episode, um, I want to go ahead and clear this Shotgun Messiah factory. Now, because we've already done this, like, twice in the series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pretty much go through the building, probably, like, off-camera, but then if there's, like, any good bits or interesting bits, I'll bring you back so you guys can see those. And, of course, I'll show you all the loot that I, that I get as well as I get to each of the loot points. So let's go ahead and begin this one, and uh, I'm, I'm literally going to go in here start this off and we're gonna go ahead and pretty much uh, come back whenever I'm like looting some things so you guys can see so there is a little bit of loot to be had like right in this first room so I'll go and show you guys like this little bit right here so any, essentially any any points where there's good loot I will show you um, oh look, all these are actually full but they all like they all pretty much have paper in them which is kind of sucky but yeah any anything that would potentially have good loot in them of course I'll show that um, and there is actually a safe right here that I never noticed before in the uh, other shotgun Messiah factories so I might have to have a quick look in there. Um, yeah, let's have a look in there. So there is one safe here. Let's open this up and we'll see what we get. So um, that's pretty much how it's going to go because otherwise it's just going to be another same episode for you guys again. Um, and I kind of want to move on to other other bigger and better things, you know. So let's go ahead and just open this up and then I'll move on. I'll come back probably when I'm at the first um, shotgun crates and gun safe point so you can see what we get in there. So let's go and open that. Here we go. And that has a combat bow in there. Should have known it was going to be a combat bow. All right, I already hear some zombies coming in. Let's just fight these guys. See who's uh, see who's coming. So got a rat already. Got some radiated zombies uh, already coming my way. Let's go and get rid of you. All right. Oh. Okay, before you wipe me again. I think that's all of them here. All right. So let's go ahead and move through, and I'll be back when I'm at the next loot point. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, I've cleared out the first little area, and this is the first point where we're going to get some loot. So there's a couple of, uh, I think there's a couple of working cyst boxes in here, so let me go and show you what we find in here, shall we? So I'm going to keep any food I get, because I'm actually running low on, uh, I've run out of meat shoes. Oh, there's some more running shoes right here as well. Nice, let's go and see what we get. So there's a working cyst box here, which has three repair kits in, which I really do actually want, which is awesome. And then there's another box up here, which has three shotgun shells. And that's pretty much all the little loot uh, that we're going to find in this little area. So just cleared out the first room, there's the first bit of loot. Let's move on. All right, going down to the hidden stash box now. So let's go and see what we can find in here. Because there is this nice little uh, secret stash um, somewhere around here. It's just around this corner, I think. Here we go. So there's a secret stash right here. What do we get in here? Some 7.62 rounds and a hunting rifle. That's pretty much everything in this little section right here. I've already cleared out the builders in the uh, in the area above now. So we're going to go ahead and see what else we can find up in here. So I think the only other, only other little sections up here is like a bag and... That's pretty much it around this section. So I think that's everything. I hear a zombie like outside just trying to break her way in as well. Let's have a look in here. So this bag had just some cans. And there's a little bit of junk here as well. Let's have a look in there. Overall, nothing too great in this one. So that's that room done. Let's move on. All right, we're in the secret area with the three shotgun messiah boxes. So let's go and open this up as well. And let's see what we get in here. So in this one, we got ourselves another repair kit and some rounds. This one had some more rounds in the compound bow. And then this last one over here had some more nine rounds of the pistol. So essentially, a ton of nine rounds in here. For anyone who's uh, maybe new to the series wondering how you get there, essentially there's uh, this little bit here in the room. Once you come through this main area, there's a room right here. Instead of going straight ahead, go left and open that bit up and you'll get to the, and you'll get to the crates in there. All right, moving on. Alrighty, we're now in the room with a couple of uh, working cyst boxes. So let's gonna have a look in here and see if we get anything good from these two. So this working cyst box over here, we had a sledge, a wrench, and a claw hammer. So essentially I'm gonna scratch, scrap all those so I don't need them. Then this one had a shovel and a door. There's a couple of boxes up here as well. Let's have a quick look in there. Still crossbow bolts, and I think I had some more zombies heading around here as well. So there's some crossbow bolts in there, which I can't do anything with, and some number rounds right there. Right, sounds like we are getting a bit more company coming around here though. So let's go and have a look and see what's going on because these guys have uh, i think have been working their way in from the outside um yeah so we've got a, we've got a uh, got a few guys coming in from the outside uh including this feral builder right here and there's this guy here so i guess um maybe i bypass a few of these as well but there we go we leveled up again so we now have three skill points to spend just got a couple more and then we can get strength number 10. so let's move on all right, here's the section where we're going to have a big fight with some zombies. And as you can see, there's already a rad one there waiting for me. So let's go ahead and at least get the first shot off on this one. And then we can move on. Wow, I completely, I completely missed my target. There we go, got you once. And then 
We can see if we can knock her down a bit uh, before all the others come out. Because there's usually a ton of zombies in this area. Um, so I kind of want to get her down first. And then we can go and fight the rest. So I'll close up one side. And then there should be some that drop out here. There you go. And we've already got some rads coming in. Here we go. So lots of Zeds already coming out at us. Um, we got some rads. We got some footballers. Got all kinds of stuff coming out here. Look, and a feral. And oh god, here we go. Here we go. Lots and lots of rads. I don't have my shotgun equipped, which is bad. Okay, that's a dead end. Let's run back this way. Make sure we don't get um, make sure we don't get cornered, because that'll be a, a death sentence. Right. Let's try and. Okay. Luckily, our club has the rad remover uh, mod equipped onto it, so that'll stop them from uh, regenerating health after I hit them once. There we go. Let's run back this way and wait. This way, this way, right, okay. Let's close this up and get a bit of a reprieve. Shotgun on the hotbar. Okay, get this thing loaded up. As soon as these guys come through here, we're going to blast them. Here we go. There we go. There we go. They can blast through these guys. Look at that. Okay, got eight shots from them, and let's back up here. A few more rads coming through. And last one. There we go. Right, so that's those ones dealt with. And I think we have a regular one coming in that way. All right. But yeah, I always like showing that bit because that's like where there's a ton of zombies, which is always really fun to fight. Um, right, let's get this guy down. And this one here. There we go. All done. There you go. So those guys are now finished off. We can move on. Actually, before I go, we're going to loot these things as well because this might contain um, ammo for us as well. So let's have a quick look. Because I like looting this bit because sometimes you'll find like ammo in each of these as well. So it's always worth a quick look. There's a wrench in that one. Uh, acid in that one, actually, I will take it. And there is nothing in that one, really. Nothing of value. More nothing of value. And there you go. Nine more rounds in that one. See, always worth, always worth looting the sinks just in case. And speaking of looting the sinks, there should be some sinks in here that I can loot as well. So let's go and quickly have a look in them. More acid. Here we go. Definitely want to take those. And some toilets here, which may contain a pistol or a 9 mil round set. So you definitely want to have a quick look in these, just in case. Because you never know, could find some good stuff in them. All right, nothing there. And nothing there. And let's check these last two, just in case. Let's see what we get. Nothing. And nothing. All right. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Right, I've gone past the SMS smelt, and we're now in the medical room. So let's going to have a little look and see what we can find in here. So this had some steel crossbow bolts in the sink there. So good um, good ammo if you're using a crossbow. Uh, there's some vitamins in here. Nice, I'll take those. And then in this one, we also have some pain pills. Other than that, there's not really too much good stuff in this uh, medical area. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty bad, actually. So now I'm in the next room. Let's go ahead and uh, try and kill some more of these builders. I'm finding a lot of uh, a lot of feral builders here, as you can see. They're all, all, ru all running in for me, trying to kill me. Did a pretty good job as well there. Um, I'm, do I'm doing better though. Definitely doing better. There you go. And let's get this guy down. Right. Let's go through all these other zombies and move on. Nice. So I'm in this room with the shotgun messiah box. Let's have a little look and see what we can find in this one. So hopefully there's going to be something good. We have in here hunting rifles, some 762s, and some more steel arrows. Look at that. So we're over a stack of steel arrows now. I also leveled up again, so one more level, and we can get the uh, final level of the strength perk, which is going to be really, really good. So let's go ahead and uh, head up here, and let's get keep on move, keep on moving on and see what we can find. Alrighty guys, and I see above the ceiling, right at the start of the uh, Shotgun Messiah, where you would usually find the um, where you would usually find the entrance and where the first couple of zombies drop down in. I never do this. There's a Shotgun Messiah crate up here. Look at this. There's another one right here. Uh, nice hidden one. Let's go ahead and scrap that and let's get the shells out of it. Oh, and we have a uh, have a zombie here that's also coming in to get a piece of me as well. Okay, so there we go. Another hidden Shotgun Messiah crate. Now I gotta go all the way back around though to get to where I was. Which is kind of sucky. Yeah, that's like, uh, that's I could make some frames to get out of here, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's make some frames. Get back up. Um, hopefully no more zombies are going to come and drop in on me right here. Um, and we can get out of here. All right, let's do it. Oh. Alrighty, I made quite a bit of progress through the factory, and now we're at the gun safe. So let's go ahead and see what's inside here. So in here we have a... Oh, finally, look, we got the Iron Breaker. That's awesome. So we can actually attach that to our pickaxe now. So let's go and modify that. And we'll add the Iron Breaker finally onto this guy, which means that we now do uh, plus 15% more damage against any iron-type materials. Awesome. We also got a pistol, some rounds, more Stilaro shotgun shells, and some uh, some diamond rounds there as well. So overall, 
That was a pretty good gun save, that one. It finally had a mod that we needed. Now, there's a couple of Zeds up there, which are probably going to all drop in on me as soon as I get too close. You look like you're a no, no, you're a feral. Let's see. Let's go and wait this guy up here. Right. Ow! Really? Man, these guys, these guys like to cause bleeds, don't they? These guys, these guys are nuts. But yeah, I've been finding so many ferals and radiator ones up in uh, up in the top here as well. It's getting like, it's getting uh, ridiculous now. Like how many how many we're actually finding up here? It's it is nuts. Uh, there's another guy right there. You normal? I think so. There you go. He's a normal one. Yeah, sometimes it's good to just pick off some of these guys if they're just no it's a non-feral. Uh, this bag, what does this have as well? Uh, there we go. Some more rounds in there. Very nice. Okay, I will uh, definitely keep all those loaded up in here as well. So yeah, we're now on the top little level where the uh, where the main one of the main business sections is, and there is a another feral businessman right there who drops another bag for us. Nice. <laughs> what is this one? We got ourselves iron boots, casino coins, and some food, which I kind of need to eat right now, so let's go and take that. All right, so we're nearly at the top, guys. Nearly at the top, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I'm going to go ahead... Oh, there's one more guy over there. Let's go and see if I can pick him off. Oh, yes! Down he goes. Didn't know what hit him. Did not know what hit him, that one. All right, let's keep moving. All right, guys, we have finally leveled up. And as you can see, we now have enough to purchase uh, Strength 10. However, we can't buy it yet because um, it appears... Oh, actually, can we buy it? Oh, we can. There we go. Mr. Olympia will be proud. Increase men in blood damage by 50%. There we go. So one level's time, guys. We can now finally start unlocking all of these last uh, all of these last things. So we can go ahead and do 100% uh, more damage blows to the head. But this is the one I definitely want to unlock. The sexual Tyrannosaurus uh, may summon the usage uh, reduction by 30%. It's going to be absolutely awesome, guys. So we're nearly there to getting our uh, to getting that sexual Tyrannosaurus. So we've been uh, pretty much very consistently working on this, trying to level for the entire week, and we're doing great. Now, uh, I did get infected again. But I did take the, uh, I, I got, actually got infected twice in here, but I took the sort of herbal antibiotics as well. So hopefully that's going to eventually counteract said infection and I'm not going to have to worry so much about uh, about that. But uh, yeah, we're currently here in the factory. You can see that I'm very, very close to the top now. So uh, almost at the point where we're going to get some really, really good loot. So let's go ahead and keep moving on. And then when things get interesting, when I had the fight with the rads, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back, and as you can see, here are all the radiated zombies. I've uh, eaten and drunk and everything, got myself sorted out, and we're ready to go ahead and fight these guys. Now, as you can see, there is uh, there's a lot of them up here, um, so hopefully we're going to be able to take these on. I made some wood frames just so I could kind of get a bit of a viewing on them. I'm going to go and see what we can do here. So if we can, um, I'm going to see if we can kind of stay quiet here. And take out some of these guys at a bit of a distance. So any of the, any non rads, I'm going to take out first, um, just to help me out here. There we go. So we got this guy over here. There we go. We're knocking back. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and take out the non rads first, and maybe the ones further away, because then it'll stop them from uh, it'll stop them from waking up. So we got a got a feral or two over here. There we go. So that feral's out. So yeah, if we can try and sneak some of these guys, uh, sneak kill some of these guys, it's going to be very very handy. So let's go ahead and uh, lay some steel arrows into these um, as well. And see if we can uh, see if we can kill these guys off a little bit more a little bit more effectively. There we go. Got another one. Got you in the shoulder. Got you in the head again. Okay, so she's coming this way. Down she goes. There's that radiated one out the way. Very good. So yeah, we'll see if we can just kill some of these rads uh, and move them on out of here. I don't know if that one is alive there. No, you're not. You're not alive. Okay. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to do that just so that we have less of them. If we can like sneak kill some of these guys, we'll have less of them to fight in a minute. So. That's kind of my thinking right there. Okay, that didn't work. Um, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's make another frame or two. Get a bit more of a view over here. Hopefully that's not going to wake him up. Nope, doesn't look like it. There we go. Now i got now I got prime view of these guys so we can see what's going on. So there is another non-radiated one right there. So we'll try and get this guy out of the way first. My aim is good enough. There we go. Knocked him over. Nice. There we go. He is straight down. Right, so we got this one. Who is also a radiated one. Just give him a little bit of a. Okay, he's got a. Um, he's got. He's got an uh, coming through here, so he's gonna probably jump up here. Give me ample room to uh, headshot him. Get a couple of arrows in his back while he's there. Get another one. There we go, and down he goes. He's taken out. Now we got the radiated Edgar over here, and we've got this guy over here. Right, let's get this guy over here first, I think. Um, so up a bit. There we go. Right, this is there. Uh, okay, this is a rad ghoul. Over here, let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy out of the way. There you go, a couple of headshots in this one. Okay, this one's going to be the toughest one to take out. Oh, I accidentally opened that one up as well. Okay. So yeah, if he... Um... Oh, he's going to destroy my frames, isn't he? Um, Uh-oh. They're going to destroy my frames, aren't they? No, yep. 
Take it to destroy frames. Okay, here we go. Right. The fight will ensue. Right. There we go. Let's try and knock him down. There we go. Right, reload this. Right, see if we can get the radiated, um, the rad ghoul down there. There we go. Knocked him over. There we go. Right, reload it. There we go. We got him. Got him. There we go. He is now taken out. Good. Right, I think there was one, I think there was one more up here. Yeah, there you are. So let's try and get you out of the way as well. I think it's the last one. Okay, let's jump over here. Let's reload this a bit. There we go. Come on then. Nice. You dead? No, you're not dead yet. Now you are. Nice. Okay, there we go. So got rid of those rads. Um, right, so that's not the last of them though. Uh, we still need to find... We still need to find the package, and then we've got like a couple more rads to kill at the top. So yeah, this is this is where the interesting bit is though. So I'll keep this. I'll keep all this on cam because this is where the fight gets uh, very very interesting. Um, right. So there is going to be some more rads down here, I think. So we've got to be careful. There's a there's a bird there, so I don't want him to don't want him to get any funny ideas. Okay. So there is a guy up there I can see who is a feral. Okay, he's behind the uh, he's behind the window there, so he can't get to me right now. Uh, oh, I see more. I see more green. Okay. Okay, lots of green. Lots, lots of green. And there's another red ghoul as well. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Well, dead end. We are. Oh. Okay. Jump down here. Okay. Lots of uh, lots and lots of green. Okay. Keep running, you fool. Okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep running. Keep running. Okay. So the way we want to do this is we want to kind of corral them down this line and then just give them the give them the duck bill down here as they come through. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then come through here. There we go. And then we got to get that one out of the way. There we go. There's one dead. Okay. Reload it. That's essentially what we want to do is kind of uh, the duck bill is really handy here just for getting these guys down and out of the way. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the double mod is really good for like just getting additional damage on these guys. There you go. Oh, he tripped over the he tripped over the ghoul. Nice. Okay. He's down. You're down. You're down. Okay. Is that everybody? I think we got one more somewhere. Right. Where's this last one? You can hear him. Is he still up there? Is he still up there? But he was. I think he fell and died. There you go. And there's the last of the rads. So now we can finally get to our prize of the shotgun messiah boxes. So let's go and have a look. I think he's still alive. But we'll go We'll go for these uh, shotgun messiah boxes and the crates and everything. We'll go for this one. So yeah, we finally managed to level up uh, as much as we needed to though, which is awesome. Let's open all these. Hope to God we get some good ammo in here or something. Uh, a rocket launcher. Nice. I've not seen one of those yet. Drop that. Um, what have we got in here? 762 rounds in that one. Very good. In this one, we have more 762s in there and a hunting rifle, which essentially gives me more. We also have a muffle connectors. Nice. Reduces noise from armor. I'll take that. Uh, we can scrap that. I can probably use that on one of my on one of my armor pieces here. Oh wait, no. The muffle connectors are you kind of you kind of have the choice, don't you? On these, you can you can use them on. Some of them, but not others. Maybe I can use it on here. I'm not sure if I can. Hang on. Let's go and modify that. Can I add these to it? Um, no, I can't because I've already got the um, improved fittings. So you, you get to choose either improved fittings or muffle connectors. So you, you get a choice between essentially armor value or um, silence, which which make, which makes sense, I guess. Um, right, we got a munitions box right over here. Let us see what we've got in here, shall we? So munitions box is going to have for us... Uh, 15 9 rounds. Okay, I will take that. Not the uh, not the best loot, but still, it's something. So now I got the iron breaker. Look, we're breaking so much quicker through this. This is going uh, much better now. So how many hits does it take for me to break through here now? So after 10 hits, I'm almost through. So I guess like 12 hits, and it'll be through. Yep, 12 hits, and I'm through. So what do we get in here? Steel arrows, scrap those. Common bow, get rid of those. Scrap them, take those. Nice, there we go. So that's those three, and then we've also, uh, don't forget, got the other three shotgun messiah boxes um, lower down as well. So if we go down here, we can come across here, and then there is another section, which is through... Oh, hello. 
There you are. Where are you going? I'm here. That's it, right. I'm, hang on. Can I knock him down? Oh, yes! Knocked him straight down there. Look at that. That was awesome. Nice. And he got an arrow to the face. What a kill. What a kill. That was great. You gotta admit, that was a pretty good kill, guys. Gotta admit, that was a pretty good one. All right. So in here, what do we have? We have ourselves um, an ergonomic grip. Um, do I have one of those on my bows yet? Yeah, I do. I already have one on there. So that's fine. Uh, do I have an ergonomic grip on this one? Um, no, I think I should have the ergonomic grip on this. So let's modify that. I'm going I'm to swap the grip and we're going to put the ergonomic one on. Because um, the, the fortifying grip gives me health back, but really, I kind of want the ergonomic one. Um, because that will reduce my stamina use. Yeah, so from instead of 12 now, it's now 11, uh, which is a little bit better. So it, do, it doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference, but trust me, uh, when you're power attacking and stuff, it will make a bit more of a difference. So yeah, we definitely want to keep that. So good old ergonomic grip right there. Sounds very cool. Let's go up here then and see what we have at the top. So number two, we have ourselves 762s, crossbow bolts, we'll scrap them. And then all we have to do then is find the shipment. And I'll keep I'll keep on carrying with you guys while we find that, just so we can see. Um, and then here's the last one. And in here we have ourselves uh, reinforced padding, uh, which is for light armor only. So we can probably sell that to Mr. Trader uh, when we are ready. We can go, hello, Mr. Trader, and sell it to him. So I think that'd be everything in here. And of course, it is uh, almost nighttime now because we've been uh, taking us quite a while to clear out this uh, this factory. But there we go. Let's go ahead and head down the ladder here. There you go. That's probably low enough to drop. There we go. And let's make our way out of here now. So the next thing we've got to do is find the shipment. Now, it's saying it's lower down. So it's, it's, it's saying it's not up here. It's on a lower down section. So can I maybe kind of come down here a bit? Okay, it's saying it's still... Still saying it's lower down from this point. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to like move along here and see where it could potentially be. So I think we can drop down here and then, right. It's saying it's on this level. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's in there. I'm guessing it's in this little, in this little piece here. Um, so let me go and break this out, break this out. Well, it's got like 10 K HP. Damn. Okay. Um, maybe I don't want to break that particular section. Uh, there must be a way in there. I think it's in here. I think it's in here. Hang on, how much has that got? That's got 10k as well. Wow, that's going to take ages to break through. But I think that's where the shipment is. It's right in here. Hang on. Let's see if there's any other, like, weak spots on this. Because um, sometimes there is, and other times there is not. So, kind of, uh... Because we can... Because it looks like there's a bit there that we can... Actually, can we go under here and get it? Hang on. Can we drop down here? And it's... Ah, here we go. This might be where it is. There you go. Hidden stash. Got it. There we go. And we've passed the quest. Excellent. So that means we can go back, hand this into Mr. Trader, and get a good reward. So that's pretty much everything here. I think there's one gun safe left down the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make my way down the factory um, and see if we can see if we can clear out this gun safe. Um, I wonder if there's a quick way I can. I want to see if there's like a quick way I can drop down because I think I think by going this way I'm kind of taking I'm taking my sweet time going this way. Um, yeah, there's there, there there must be a quick way down. There's uh, let me try and find the stairwell, and I'll go down there because this uh, this factory is so big. And it's like it's really tedious to navigate, but it's such an awesome place. I think we're gonna have to have a horde fight in here. You know what? I think for day 28 we'll have a horde fight in one of these factories. I'll go back to base, get my ammo, um, and then we'll have a horde fight in here. And we'll like, but we'll like barbed wire up and we'll wait for them to come to us, and we'll see how long it takes them um, to get to the factory, and then we can we can fight them. I think that would be a really fun. Um, test to see how the AI works in this uh, in in like a big POI like this. That would be a really fun test to see how it works. Um, so you know what? I might actually do that for day 28. How does that sound, guys? Day 28 horde fight in a factory. I think that sounds like a plan. Honestly, I think that's uh, I think that's going to be an amazing idea. But that's just me. I mean, you know, not all of my ideas are amazing. Let's face it. But some of them are. It's night time. Right. So where is the way down? Okay. There's the pool. I'm going to see if I can jump to the pool because um, this is the SMS smelt. Um, so if I jump this, and then, yeah, I think I can, I think I can jump to the pool, um, to get down and out of here quicker. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, j yeah, just to get out quicker, we'll jump to the pool, because that is probably the, uh, the easiest way to do this. So let's go and do that. So there's the smelt down there. Where is the pool? The pool. Okay, we've got, now we've gone right around the pool. So we can probably go to this. Here we go. Go to this, go to this, and then we can just drop in the pool. And that'll leave me out. Here we go. Really? I broke my leg. 
from falling in the water. Wow. Wow, guys. I, I broke my leg from falling in the pool. That happened. Do I have... Um, okay, I can make a splint. That's fine. Let, let's make a splint real quick. Hang on. Splint. One of those. There you go. Craft that. God damn it. Really? Really? I broke my leg from landing in water. Wow. Okay, so I get. I guess that's not the safest way to get off of this thing then. But there you go. Let's go ahead and make our way out. Okay, so I'm going to make my way out of here and probably head to the other... I don't know if I'm going to head to the other factory now or maybe do a little bit of night exploration. I might do a bit of night exploration. If I come across anything interesting, uh, I will let you guys know. But for now, let's go ahead and head out of here and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alrighty guys, one bit of nighttime exploration later and we've found a, uh, I think a house that we've not really seen before to clear. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can maybe hack through this one um, to get ourselves more ammo for the Horde Knight. And as you can see, we're doing pretty good on the ammo that we're collecting. I'm definitely going to have plenty of ammo for my SMG, but I wanted to see if we could maybe go into this place and see if there is anything that we could do around here to get more ammunition and stuff. So maybe this place will be, uh, will be pretty good for ammo. I'm not sure, but I don't think we've been into this place yet. So I kind of want to have a look and see um if there is anything good in here there's like, there's like a blueberry farm in here which is pretty cool but yeah this place does not seem familiar at all so why don't we have a little look in this place and see what we can find we're going to go and uh, head into here first let's see if there's anything in here there's a workbench in here uh anything above me here that's gonna jump on my face nope there is a working sys box right here though as well so i can go ahead and uh, open this for you let's see what we got in here so we have a level two fire axe and a non-working workbench which has nothing in it okay well I guess a level two fire axe would be would be good if we needed that, but currently we don't really need that at all, right? So that's all good. Right, so let's have a look in here. So we've got uh, so it's saying it's saying this is where we've got to start, um, but it's not there. That's probably woken up some sleepers though. Uh, is it in here? Uh, no. There is a climbable trellis though. Are we meant to go. Just trying to see because that's what that's this is where the light is saying we should start, unless there's a bit underneath. Hmm, it's not necessarily making it clear where we've got to go, but we can climb up this. Uh, so maybe we've got to climb up this to get to... Is there like a spot on the roof we've got to get to to get in here? I have no idea. Um, but it's saying this is... Uh, the, like the light is saying, you know, this is where you start. But I'm not seeing anywhere to go in. Or anywhere that's open at least to be able to get inside. Hang on. So this far we've got food in it. So that's probably rotten flesh. Uh, yep, bones are rotten flesh. As predicted. <laughs> so predictable. So very predictable. But yeah, it looks like it looks like this is the way we've got to go, but it's not really showing me... Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I think I see... Wait, hang on. I think I see. We've got to go up here. Ah, here we go. And then we get to the roof like this. Then we go over the roof. There you go. Right, so we're starting from the roof and we're working downwards this time. All right. Let's see what we've got in here then, shall we? So let's go and uh, drop on in. As soon as we're in, we can't get out. So let's make sure there's no sleepers immediately in the area. They're going to be running anyway, so... That's the thing. Uh, oh yeah, I need some food, don't I? Because that's uh, that's becoming a concern. Because I'm running low on food. So let's go and do that. I'm going to eat one of those. And that should be a little bit more. That should be a little bit more for me. Plus I'll drink coffee as well. Keep my uh, keep my stamina recovery up. But yeah, hopefully we can level up very soon and get the sexual transfers five. That would be amazing if we can get that. Um, okay, let's go and make our way through here. Right, so I don't see sleepers yet. I don't see anything green, which is a good start. Don't see anything with glowing eyes, which is also a good start. Uh, there is a landmine right there, though. Oh! There we go. So this uh, this feral's coming. Oh, and the nurse is awake now as well. Okay, stupid. Really? Just hit with you. There you go, gotcha. God damn. Man, how many hits did that one get on me before I could even, like, get a hit back? That was that was way too many. So there, there are landmines up here we've got to be careful of. Um, okay, so then Steve's behind that one. Yeah, I saw I saw that. I was like, nope, back away, back away. That's gonna that's gonna hurt. Okay. So it looks like there is a way. Oh, uh oh, oh god damn it. Okay. Right. Okay. Why are we out there? Okay. Okay. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. We are so dead. Okay, use this, use this, use this, use this. Oh god, okay, we slid. I don't know how we lived that. I don't know how we lived that. My club ran out of durability. Club ran out of durability. I don't know how we lived that, but... <laughs> Bloody hell. That was close. That was close. Yeah, we got back into a cupboard. Um, I think actually that probably helped because they couldn't all hit me at once and kill me as quickly. Okay, that was uh, that that was that was a nasty fool trap right there. That was a, that was a nasty thing because there's me thinking, yeah, we're just gonna go on the bed. 
uh, drop in there. But no, it was uh, it, they had to had to do that. But there we go. At least we had the shotgun though to to save me right there. Right, we're gonna load that again. Because yeah, we're finding ferals, rads, everything in here right now. So let's go through here and see what we can find. Right, we're gonna keep going through the house. Oh, okay, that was that was close. That was close. We might have been infected again. I hope we didn't get infected again because that's gonna suck. But then again, I just had. I guess we'll just clear it with the shotgun. So we got a couple of magazines in here. What do we get? We got a better battering and a heavy armor one. Let's use the heavy armor one. Get my fortitude up very slightly, and we'll get some heavy armor right there. There we go. Um, oh, there is a rad in there. Look. See the green glowy? There it is. Don't know what uh, rad this is. It's a rad Edgar, I think. Okay. There we go. Let's get some consistent power attacks off on this guy. There we go. We'll keep him down. There we go. So the rad is done. Okay, there is a nest up there as well. Who hasn't woken up yet, so let's go and give her a give her a whack in the face and take her down. Very surprised she didn't wake up considering I was like power attacking consistently. There's another rad right there. Uh okay. Why is these guys not waking up? Hang on. Can I get a sneaky shotgun shot on this guy? There we go. Yeah we can. Nice. I definitely want to see if I can find a silencer at some point for the shotgun. Because that's gonna be good. Like clearing a clearing PIs with a silent shotgun is gonna be Absolutely hilarious, I think. Right, okay, so we've got this place here. There is um, some cabinets right there, but I don't know if it's going to have these heads in them, so let's just go and fire some arrows at them just to see. Does not look like it. Now, when we, when we drop in here, we cannot get back, so we've got to be very careful from this point. Um, okay, so let's go and duck down here, keeping out for anyone running in my way. Okay, God damn it! <laughs> it always makes so much noise. Right, there's another one there. Right, there is a big lady running this way. Okay. Right, you're down. Right. Ready to take it right here. There we go. Try and get these guys down. Let's right, back in this way. Right, she's down. Oh! Back up. Okay. Right, Edgar, in the kitchen. Chew your food! Otherwise your head explodes. See, it's true. Try to sell him. Try to sell him. Right. Anything in here? Hmm. Let's have a look in here quickly. Uh, just cans. Any ammo in the sinks? Let's have a quick look. There's coffee in them, but... Oh, there you go. Three shotgun shells. Nice. I'll make up for the ones I just, like, wasted earlier. Uh, right, let's keep going. Keep on tra Yeah, keep on trucking. Right, here we go. Good thing I had that heavy armor magazine as well. Good thing I had that. Right, anyone in here? Nope. Okay, so this goes upwards. And it seems to lead around. Okay, so this is one way we can go. Okay, this door's locked, but I can probably just smack my way through there. Hang on. Okay, because in here we should have... Okay, there's some medical supplies right there. Let's have a look in there. You never know, might get something good. There you go, first aid bandage. I want that. Steroids, I'm just going to leave them. Don't need those. And... Oh, yeah, toilet. Make sure we make sure we have a look in there. God, I can't believe, though, we got out of that. Had I not had um, fortitude, we wouldn't have got out of that, though. Let's face it. If I, if I hadn't have had any of the fortitude stuff, we would have died in there. Okay, so let's go in this garage here. See what we got. Right, there's probably going to be... Usually in garages, sleepers are always above you. Um, but it looks like there's none in here. Okay. Let me close this a sec. So it looks like this one can be unlocked. Yeah, there's an Edgar right here. No, that's not Edgar. It's, it's regular. Just regular Edgar. It's a bathroom. Alright, any ammo in here? Tell that. Nope, no ammo in there. It's coffee, but not too worried about that right now. And uh, none in there. Alright. So now I can go back in here. So, let's have a look through here. So good now that we got this burning club mod, though. It's so much easier to light the way. Like, lighting the way is now a breeze, which is awesome. Uh, sometimes these garages do have, like, um, working system shotgun side boxes in them, but I don't think this one does, so we're all good here. Okay, anyone in this room? Don't think so. Let's have a look down there. No one in there? Nope. Okay, let's keep my back to the wall here. All right. There is no one around here. Okay. Interesting. I definitely thought there would be some... Okay. Oh, hang on. Maybe right there. There's some rads. Right. Let's get this one down. There we go. Come on then. Right. And see if I can get you. There we go. Oh, into the spikes as well. What a death. What a death for you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Back through here. Back through here. Right. So we got a uh, radiated cowboy dude. Let's go and uh, get this one. Okay. Knock him down quickly. There we go. He's out. Okay. This one. One, two. There you go. 
You getting up? Or are you staying down? I think he's staying down. Yeah, I think I think we killed him. Right, okay. Whew. All right, that was lucky. That was lucky. We'll get, we're, okay, we're, get, we're getting there. Right, okay, now we're down into a... Uh, now we're down to a cellar. I'm thinking we're going to find more down here. Okay, so let's try not to get surrounded. Let's keep going. Okay, we're going to get around here. Yeah, I've definitely not seen this one before. Okay, so nothing here. No. Looks like this might be it. I think this is it. There is the... Uh, there's the boxes right there. I think that's our loot. Yes, it is. Here we go. We'd, we've done it. Nice. All right, let's go and see. Uh, I guess let's go and see what's down here. So we got a uh, ammo bag right here, which has an SMG. Nice. So not like 50 uh, nine rounds from that, which is very cool. There's a small chest right here. What's we got in here? We got some 762s, some steel leg armor. I'm just going to scrap it. One chuck on side box right here. We have a weighted head. Some more 762s. There you go. Nearly 200 762 mil rounds. I mean, on all night, those are going to heartbeat, but still, it's uh, it's good to have. Uh, claw hammer, wood, get rid of those. And what do we have in here? This one has mechanical parts. Nice. I think that's pretty much all of the good stuff in here. There's a sink here. Let's search that for ammo. There we go. A bit more ammo in the sink there. But yeah, really weird that you have to... Oh, hello. What's that? Um, oh, a case. Anything in here? There is nothing in there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the club out so we can see our way, and let's get out of here. All right, so that was pretty good. So yeah, we nearly nearly died in that one. That was a that was a pretty good one. We nearly died in that. That was fun. It's always fun when you come to near death and then you escape by the skin of your teeth. Like, I know Metamorphosis says I get out of the most ridiculous situation and then die to the stupidest ones, but I think that was one of the stupid ones that I then managed to survive. So I'm kind of happy with that. Hmm. Right. So where do we get out of here? Okay, this is the back door here, so we can break through that. There we go. Let's break through here. And let's get out of here. Here we go. And that's where the uh, the light was just around here. That's where we came in. Awesome. Let's drop the glass. And we are ready to move on. So yeah, I decided that I was going to follow this um, this random road here because I kind of drove past it on the way to uh, on the way to coming to this factory. Um, I kind of drove past it. And I was like, hmm. Well, maybe that means there's like more towns that I kind of went straight past and didn't realize it. So yeah, this is one of those uh, this is one of those such towns uh, that were th that were here. Um, but other than that, not really that much good stuff here. There's an apartment building. Which you could also go ahead and have a quick look in. Because um, I know there's a munitions box and a gun safe and stuff up there. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we will, because there's sinks and stuff which will have more chance of our ammo as well. So yeah, actually there, there should be a fair bit of ammo inside here if we know where to look. So you know what? I'm going in. Let's do it! I'm doing it now! Alright, so our food situation is definitely in need of attention though. Um... So food poisoning from this, uh, very high chance of food poisoning. Yeah, do we really want to use that? Uh, what does it do? Uh, it gets oh, it only, it only gets maxed down right by one, so it's pretty useless. Yeah, we might find some food in here though. That's that's another thing. Like in here is probably where we would find food anyway. So let's see. Okay, anyone in here? No, it sounds like we got one breaking out here though. All right, let's see what's going on here, shall we? Come on then. Right, who do we have behind this door? A feral or a normal one? Let's see. Come on. There you go. Okay, well. Now we know it's a dead one. Oh, there's a radiator one in here as well. Hello. Right. Let's go and finish you off. Go then. Oh, we got one to my left as well. Mate, he's out. Okay. There's one coming this way. Right. Oh, hello. Big lady. How you doing? Alright, let's knock you down. There you go, she's out. Okay. So you got this guy. There you go. And he's out of here. Alright, another radiator one here. Set you on fire. Take the head off. Very nice. And we have... Oh! One nurse right there. There we go. Right, anyone else in this room? No, we'll go, we'll go and make sure all the rooms are clear, um, just in case. Right, you are fine. I, I think what we'll do is we'll open all the rooms first, clear them all out, 
and then we'll loot them afterwards because uh, that's probably the best way to go because there's only certain things i'm going to be looting in each of these rooms anyway so yeah there's uh i don't need to like clear everything in here like every single cupboard i'll probably only loot until i get enough food and then i'll be fine from there okay let's go and get my uh club out here there we go and let's have a look over here anyone in here nope anyone in this room don't think so uh nope no one in that room and bathroom we'll open it for later there we go right that's that one done this room was open already didn't see anyone in here but there could be there could still be people in this room but i didn't see anyone in here so we're all good right this bottom floor is now completely opened up so let's go and move on to the next one right next floor right so is any already open this one here is already open so we explore this one first okay there is a radiator one in that room there. So when he breaks out of here, we'll go and deal with him. Oh! Hello! Where'd you come from? Hello? A regular one here? Right. So then this rad has broken out. So let's deal with this guy. Very nice. Got him. Right, so then we've got one at this door here. Knock you down. Oh, she's a swan dive! Nice. That's always good. Right, so that's done. Let's go make sure these rooms are clear. So this one is. Uh, over there is clear. This one is. Not sure about that one. I think this one probably is. That one is clear, yep. Right, okay, we got a... Couple in here. There you go, clear them out. There you go. Right, let's go into this one. Right, it's nearly morning though, so we should, uh, we should see if there's any more. So no one in here. Any in here? No one in there. Uh, no one over that way. And uh, no one here. Okay, this room is clear, so two out of four done. Yeah, it's nearly morning now, which is awesome. So that means it'll be a little bit easier for us to see. But for now, we're going to go ahead and open out everything. Make sure it's all, make sure it's all clear and done, and then we can loot. Okay, this one. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And it's morning. Right, let's go through here. Right, so that means it's going to be a little bit easier to see. Okay, so we got a room in here. Let's open this up. But yeah, hopefully, if we get lucky, more ammo should be ours from here. Okay, no one in there, no one in there. Cool. Okay, second floor is completely cleared. Let's do the third one. Yeah, these, these ones are pretty quick to clear, so it's always good. Okay. So, anyone in this room? Let's have a quick look. So, there is a iron section in here. All right. Clear this out. Okay, here we go. Right, let's kill this one. There's one. Right, this room is clear. And this room is clear. Okay, oh. Ready one. Okay, let's get him out of the way. Got a radius of Edgar as well. Come on then. Right, come on. Hey, stop. Stop with your hitting you. There you go. Back up. Okay, back up this way. Corral them through here. Knock him down. Ow! Don't you hit me. Got him. Right, he's taken out. Okay. Sounds like we're having some oh another another rage one there. Get down. Gotcha! Nice. Love the instant decap now. This is really good. So open this one. This room is clear. This room is cleared as well. Very close, guys. Very close to getting set to Tyrannosaurus 5. Very close. I'm looking forward to this so, so much. Because plus 50 stamina sounds amazing. Per kill. That's awesome. Okay. Alright, let's go and see what we got here. Nothing there. Let's go through here. Alright. Uh, let's go and break in this one. Nope. Not, use, uh, not using that tool. Wrong tool for the job. Right. Open that. Open that. Right. Anyone in here? No one in there, that's clear. That's clear. This area is clear. And this one? Just gonna break through here. It is clear. Alright. Third floor is now clear. Huzzah! Right, clear this area out. Let's go up to the next one. Right, so which one is open? This one. So in here first. I always do the open rooms first, because then you don't get surprised by that. There you go. Right, let's go and 
<laughs> get you in the legs. There you go. Wow, kill it, kill him with four leg shots. Nice. Right. Make sure no one else in there. Clear. Clear. All right. So we're good here. Right. So we've got a builder here. Let's go and knock you out. There you go. All clear. Have a level up. Nice. All right. One, two, let's get this right out of the way. There we go, he's down. Stay down. And there we go, guys. Now we can finally get Central Tyrannosaurus 5. Done. Now, Death Blows give me 50 stamina back, which is awesome. That's going to be so much better now. So I want to I see how this works. That means we can probably power attack a little bit more often now. So then we can kill this guy. There we go. Maxed out stamina. Power attack drain nothing on a, on a single kill. That is awesome. That is amazing. Look at that. Plus 50 stamina for 5 hits. That is that is great. That is awesome. So now I can really max out our strength and become like pretty much melee gods, which is going to be very, very cool. Okay, nothing in there. That's clear. This room is clear. This room is clear as well. Alright. So that's that bit clear. That's that bit clear. And then we're going to go in this one. But that's so good. We finally maxed out our, uh, we finally maxed out our stamina for the uh, melee side of things. So now we use much less stamina for, for swing. We can pretty much just like run and swing now. Which is really, really good. Probably have to start investing in cardioid as well at some point for additional running. Okay, nothing in here. Okay. I think a guy's coming up the uh, coming up the apartment here. Okay. There you are. Get down. Nice. See that? Plus stamina straight away. That is awesome. Right. So this floor is now cleared. We have... This is the last floor. Here we go. Right. So this way is open. Let's go in here first. Right. There we go. One down. There you go. So we can, we can recover the death loads. Look at that. And recover our stamina. Okay. Oop. Okay. Run through here. Get some stamina back from you. Thank you very much. Okay. Oop. Back through here. There you go. Kill this guy quickly. Try and... Get some stamina back from him. There we go. So yeah, essentially um, you can turn zombies into stamina farms. There we go. Bit more stamina from you. There we go. Got him. There we go. Stamina is back, and there we go. Nice. So nice to be able to recover stamina now. That is so good. That's such a good little, such a good little boon. That's great. Okay, we're starting to get thirsty, however, so let's go and drink one of the coffees. There we go. That will help me out a little bit. Okay. So yeah, not really paying so much attention to my thirst now, so. Gotta watch that a little bit. But it is day 28, guys, so the horde is gonna be coming. Right, let's go and open this one and this one. There we go. Nothing in there. That's clear. Okay, this one is clear. Right, so this side now. Right, hang on. Wow, look at that. And my stamina is back. Look at that. That's so good. So, so good. Right, this is clear. This is clear. And let's just check this one's clear as well. Clear. Good. I think. Yep. Clear. I thought that was a zombie then. Like, that, pi that picture just staring at me. I was like, oh, hang on a minute. I was like, wait a second. I thought I don't know about this. All right. Let's go and use one of these. There you go. One pain pill. Off we go. And let's open this up. There we go. And then we can open that. And then we can open this. Okay. No one there. No one's there. All right. So that's the last room there. This one is clear. So I'm assuming this is going to have the... This is going to have the Nazis in. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's open this out. Okay, there we go. All right, come on in, guys. So we got this uh, radius one coming in. There we go. There we go. Cleared. There we go. Man, that's keeping us having a nice night. Look at that. Look at that. God, that just keeps our stamina recharged like crazy. That is amazing. And there we go. This room is now cleared. All right. There we go. Everything's uh, cleared out in here. Let's go and open these. So we've got a construction tools uh, box, which has rotten flesh in it. There is a hidden stash, which has gold, silver, diamonds, and some pretty good iron armor. So I'll sell that. And then what do we have in here? Hopefully something good. Let's see. In this one, we have ourselves... Two rockets, okay? Two regular rockets. That's uh, That'll be for selling, I think. And then we've got a gun safe that I kind of had to come around this side to open. All right, let's do this. Let's open this gun safe up. Let's see if there's anything in here. 
and then I'll go quickly around and get some more uh, some more ammo from the sinks. So that's all I want to do. Go to each room. Now we've opened it all out. Get some ammo from the sinks. Make sure we've looted it all. And that'll be a pretty good point to end off then, I think. So we got a an A time scope. Nice. And we've got some rounds there. Sick. So yeah, finding some pretty good mods here. But yeah, now all I want to do is pretty much just go in each of the sinks here. Because um, each sink has a chance to give you ammo, right? So we definitely want to go through each of those to find whether there's going to be any ammo just waiting for us in each of these. And there's actually quite a few sinks here. There we go, there's some shotgun rounds right there. There is also some Nyman rounds right there, so we're going to take those. See, sink, going through sinks and stuff, very, very handy. We would definitely want to be doing that, because you can get a lot of ammo very quickly, especially from a place like this. If uh, you get pretty, if you get lucky, you can get loads very, very quickly. So is that room done? And we're going to do this really quickly for all the rooms. We're going to rattle through these. To see what we can find. There's none in that one. There is acid in that one though. Take all the acid, that's good. And there is just water in there. And all the toilets as well can maybe contain nine more rounds. Much more of a rare chance if they do, but they can, so definitely worth a look. So that's searched already. Searched already there. So I guess I searched a couple of these already. Magnum rounds in that one. Alright, there we go. Let's keep going. So we have a sink right here, which has coffee in it. I'm not really too worried about the coffee anymore, to be honest. Why can I? Stupid chair. Um, right, we got that one. Nothing there. Okay, let's get that chair out of the way so I don't keep tripping over it. Next one. But yeah, chances for ammo is pretty low, but you know sometimes you get a decent amount like that. So you know you can you can get pretty lucky with the ammo you get. And if every source gave you ammo like that, then you're gonna get a lot very 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 quickly. So we've got none in that one. Let's go in here. This one, there's a shotgun shell in there, so it's better than none. Nothing in that one. Okay, this this floor done. Right, next one. Right, we're getting there. Right, in this one we have zilch. In this one we have, wait, not that one, this one. We have more zilch, and in the toilet, there it is. There we go, let's see. Definitely worth it. Um, oh, what's this, what am I dropping? Oh, I'm dropping five Nymer rounds. Okay, uh, drop the jars, uh, pick up the Nymer rounds. No! Drop the jars, I said. Don't want to friggin' first. Don't want to get rid of the nightmare rounds. Right, get that, get that. There we go, got him. Okay, my inventory is full, that's why. So through here, we have nothing in there. Nothing in there. And search this sink. What do we get? Nothing in there. All right. So not too bad. Let's keep going then. So this way, we have in here acid. I'll take that. And then there is... Oh, we never cleared this out, because they already they already opened this bit here. So we got... Oh, steel arrows. There we go. Take them. Thank you very much. In here we have absolutely zilch. And let's go this way. This one has acid. Take that. This one has cooking pots. Not too much in there. But yeah, you can see it does give you a little bit of ammo. It's not a huge amount, but it's, it's usually more than what a, uh, what a gun save will give you. So it's pretty good, so... Nothing in there. In here, we have none in that one. Okay, so we're not getting so lucky this time. Not getting so lucky on these floors. That's all right. Okay, this one. Nothing. More nothing. And more nothing. Damn. Okay, yeah, not getting lucky in these rooms. But you never know, our luck might change in the future. Let's see, none. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, so our luck is not doing too well on this floor. Let's have a look in here. Nope. That's just got nitrate in it. This one has got nothing in there. And this one has got uh, pretty much... Uh, well, crossbow bolts, I guess, does count as ammo, but still. Not the ammo we would use. Because the crossbow bolts take so long to reload, it's just like, nah, you, you don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want the crossbow. The only reason to have the crossbow now is for the explosive bolts. That would be the only reason you'd use it. Okay, fine. Uh, anything in there? Nope. Nothing in there. All right, so we're nearly done. Couple more to go. So we got this one. Nope. And this one. Nope. <laughs> and this one. Nope. Okay. Nothing in those. But still, we managed to get like about um, probably like a fifth of a stack of rounds for each type of ammo, so that's not bad. Nope. Nothing in there. And last room. See if we get lucky in these last ones. Nope. Nope. And nope. Nope, we did not get lucky in these last rooms. Okay, well, that's a shame. Um, yeah, so screw, screw you, picture of a lady. And you. Take that. That's what you get for not giving me ammo.
All right, well, guys, there we go. We've pretty much come to a good point to end off the episode, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, not quite bye. I decided that we're going to go back to the traders really quickly to hand in this quest because uh, we did need to hand this in to get our reward. Uh, but first of all, I kind of need to make sure I've got enough room. Uh, so let's go Let's go and do that. Uh, See, so yeah, I drove the bike back. Uh, everything is here, but do I? Oh, God, I don't even have enough room for this. i got to drop something for, to take my reward in. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's drop the... Ooh, let's drop these two coffees. There we go. That'll be enough to take the reward. And we can scrap these as well. There we go. That should be enough. Right, let's go into Mr. Trader. And let's see what reward he is going to have lined up for us, because uh, we've now completed his quest. Let let's see what he's got. Survivor. Hello, Mr. Many Trader. Thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Nice. So he gives us uh, 1,000 with 100, uh, 1,100, 100 bonus, and he's got 267 casino tokens. He's also got a reward for us for completing the other quest, uh, which I will take the chainsaw. Very nice. There we go. Um, and I want to see really quickly if he has any other different jobs. Um, that is not in the same thing. Um, that's the apartment brick six floor. It's it's just this, it's just a shame that there's no. Okay, apartment brick six floor. I guess that's going to be the one nearest by. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just go and accept that one. Uh, and let's go and see if we can just really quickly sell some stuff to him before we end off the episode. See, so yeah, I kind of thought, yeah, we'll go we'll go ahead and sell everything that we need. So rule one cardioid, we can sell. We don't need that. Um, we can sell this. We can sell these, this, we can sell all of that as well. There you go, 15 of those. And the sign armor. So yeah, lots of stuff we can sell. The chainsaw is pretty good. That does, um, doesn't do much melee damage though. Um, but it's still pretty good. So it's got high max durability. And that should allow us to get wooden really quickly. Uh, we've got the better butter magazine. But to be fair, I can't, I need to uh, into that 10 to get that. So we've got to get rid of that. Anyway, we can sell this. Uh, is there any other stuff that I would like to give to you, Mr. Trader? These. Four of those. The rocket launcher. We can have that. Uh, which I think gave me a third rocket somewhere. Uh, you can have the schematic as well. I don't want I don't want to be keeping that. Um, muffle connectors I can't use. And the same with the um, fortifying grip. We can't really use those anyway. So you can have them. 105 mechanical parts. They're all yours. 1680. Nice. So it's, you can see he's given us quite a bit of good stuff, right? So that's, that's not bad. Um... I swear, though, that, that should give me... Um, when I saw the rocket launcher, it should give me another rocket somewhere. Uh, let me make sure I'm not got it. Uh, oh, here they are. In my, in my hotbar. There we go. A time scope can stay up here. And you can have the vitamins, because I'm not going to use those. Here. Come again. No worries, Mr. Trader. Um, let's go and see um, if, before we end up as well, he uh, will take any more stuff from the bike as well, because I want to go ahead and give him a few little things here. So... You can have this, 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 the cache, the burning shaft, this, SWAT helmet, uh, the archery, salvage operations magazine, silver, charging bull I don't need, model load I don't need, and then this armor as well, we don't need any of that. So yeah, all these schematics and stuff, uh, we just don't really need. Position I'm going to keep though for later, because that could be useful, so I will be keeping that. Alright, let's go ahead and set on these as well. So this should give me a little bit more cash to work with as well, which should be pretty awesome. Right, so... Mr. Trader, I have more stuff for you. Hello. Uh, hey, talk to me, you, you bugger. There you go. Right. See your inventory. Right, so you can have... Oh, okay, okay, I need to drop something first and then pick it up to sell it. Okay, let me just do that first, then sell it, you, then pick it up. Check back soon. I get and then we can sell it. Daily. There you go. So that's just... Uh... Oh, you can do you can you can talk or trade like that as well. So if you hold down, you can talk or trade. That's pretty cool. So you can have this, this, and pretty much all this stuff here. That I don't want. So 255 cash now gets me 892. It's not bad. And then all this as well. So this is all yours, Mr. Trader, because we no longer need any of this stuff. And some of this and some of this. Now I don't know if he's uh, got any new stock um, in, but let's go and see if he's got any. So let's look at his modifiers. That'll tell me. So trigger what run spring. This is the stuff I sold to him. Um, so shotgun tr trigger semi uh, run spring replacement. That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing really that he's got for us there. Uh, any new ammo that he's got? 7.62 rounds. Let's buy those straight up. There we go. Uh, we've also got a load of 9 rounds. Let's buy them up as well, straight up. Nice. Um, rocket launcher and rockets I don't need. And his secret stash. What has he got in here? Uh, let's just double check to see if he has anything decent in here. Uh, Magnum rounds, like, I guess I'll buy them. There we go. Uh, he's got laser sights, plastic plating. Other than that, you come back sometime. not too much. Hmm. Okay, I will come back sometime. Uh, now, the other thing I want to do then is go to... May as well go to the other trade then really, really quickly. 
sell some stuff to, uh, or buy some stuff from him, I guess. And then we'll, then we'll, then for real we'll end off the episode, guys. So, yeah, I just wanted to, I just, I, I felt, it felt incomplete, me, like, not selling everything to the trader and completing the quest when, you know, most of the episode had been focused on doing that quest. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go up this way, and let's go to trader number two, who is just over here. We kind of have to go around him, and then we have to go in. There we go. I <laughs> love the way the spike handles there, it's great. Alright, here we go. Alright, so trader number two. Let's go and see what he has for us as well, shall we? Alright, let's go ahead and make our way in here. Hello, trader number two! How you doing? Uh, right, let's see your inventory. Uh, let's see what he has to buy. Do you have modifiers? You do. You have bunker buster inventory, a helmet light. That could be good. Yeah, that could be very good. Yep, let's take that. Uh, what does Hunter do here again? Forget that. Uh, increases damage to living beings. Okay, that's that's not that's not really that good. Um, okay, and your secret stash. Let's have a quick look in there. See if he's got anything good. Uh, shovel level six, improved fittings, symmetry. Oh, hang on, these are steel gloves. These are better than what I've got. Let's take those. And uh, let's get the improved fittings for that as well. Yes, get those. Uh, master rifle level three is fine. Oh, you got a level five master rifle as well. Yeah, why not? Let's indulge. Let's indulge in that. There we go. We'll take that. And let's see what other ammo you have on you as well, just to see. If you have anything good here. So ammo wise, you are not really packing anything at all. Which kinda of sucks. Um uh, really? No no real ammo from, from this guy? Doesn't look like he's taking any ammo whatsoever. So he's got some uh oh, a six military vest there. Oh, I can't afford it. But that'd be that'd be really good. But uh what we can do now it's been a real pleasure. we can go ahead and take off these iron gloves and replace them with steel ones. So let's go and modify these. Take off the improved fit for that. Um, and then we can, I guess, uh, modify this one, and then we can add uh, these guys and some insulated liners as well. Um, get it one going to my heart by here. I don't know. I can go up here. Um, we got improved fittings, everything here. So there we go, improved fittings, triple storage packet, and then we can wear that again. Nice. And then we can modify the helmet as well, right? So if we come to our helmet here, we should be able to add the helmet light to that. So if we modify this, we should be able to add this guy to it. There we go. And now we can wear that again. And now we've got ourselves uh, a military helmet with a light on it. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so that is uh, that is excellent. And now the uh, iron armor here, we can sell that back. So you can have this. I don't want the shovel either. You can have that as well. Why do I keep the shovel? I don't know. Um, can anything else? Stranger. Can anything else of mine take improved fittings? Let me just see to make sure I'm uh, to make sure I'm a bit more nimble. Uh, the leg armor has got some ready. The boots I don't think has any. Hang on, let me just take these quickly. Uh, let's modify these quick. Um, oh no, those are customized fittings, so we've already got those. Okay, that's fine. So the boots already have customized fittings, so that means we are maxed out on that. And then I guess we can take the. Yeah, the marksman rifle. Then we can mod. Uh, we can mod that as well and get everything we need for that. But that looks pretty good. So he doesn't have anything else good on him. Um, and before we go as well, let's just let's check out. Let's check out the chainsaw. Oh, they they lowered the um the volume with this as well. Oh man, I feel like I'm moving much faster now. Oh, I feel like I'm moving way faster now. I guess those uh, I guess those fittings worked. Uh, I am wearing on my arm, right? Yeah. I guess those uh, I guess those fittings are working the charm. Um, let me go ahead and chop this. What do we get from here? How much wood do we get from this? Look at this. Uh, 173 wood per chop. Not bad at all. So, I think guys, for real this time, we're going to go ahead and end off the episode. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, bye!